nagsikat siya sa social media ngayon, a lot of the bakers and home cooks out there are doing this recipe. So, curious lang naman ako, I want to do my own. This is our version of ube cheese pandesa. So ngayon, I will be using a stand mixer. Pero of course, pwede nyo naman gamitin yung isang malaking bowl na lang. And use your hands. Pero super tamad na ako ngayon. So I will use a stand mixer. Okay, this time, hahalo ko na yung ube flavor call sa water. Okay, in ko na yung yeast dun sa mixer na nagmimix na yung sugar at saka yung flour. Now, it's time to add the liquid ingredients, yung ating water at saka yung flavoring. Kapag na-blend na nating mabuti, add na natin yung margarine. Gagawin natin, itadust natin yung surface natin with flour. Siguro medyo damihan ko pa kasi we have a very sticky dough. Ngayon ginagawa ko yung pandesal, umuulan. Kaya medyo nagiging sticky yung ating dough. Kaya kailangan pa ng medyo marami pang flour. Okay? So, hindi naman natin siya kailangan in very vigorously. Very forgiving yung dough ng pandesal. Pero we just make sure na it's well combined. At saka nagba-bounce back na yung pandesal kapag iyong nininid. Okay, so, so okay na yung ating dough. We will make sure na our bowl is well lined with margarine para hindi dumikit kapag nag rice na yung dough. Alright, so ito na siya. So nag-double na siya sa size. Ang um, ginagawa dito dapat pinapunch down. 
yung punch down natin. Alright. Okay, so i divide lang natin yung dough and then what we'll do is yung tinatawag nilang parang gumagawa ka ng log tapos while crimping para magkaroon siya ng uh, good body. So, ayan. Okay, so after you have formed the log, pwede mo na itong i-slice. Uh, kung ano na lang yung preference mo na laki. Hindi ko na ako nag-measure dito kasi parang ina-eyeball ko na lang na makakreate ako ng pandesal sizes. Ayan na, so malapit na tayo sa finish line. Pero ito yung pinaka-exciting part for me. Yung lalagyan na natin ng filling, yung ating pandesal dough. We'll do halayang ube and quick melt cheese. So after natin nalagyan ng filling, gagawin natin, i-roll out natin yung ating pandesal just like this. Para lang pantay siya na circle. And then, we just roll into breadcrumbs. And then, ready na natin silang i-bake kapag natapos na natin ang prosesong ito. Okay, ito na yung mga na-form natin ng mga pandesal. Ube cheese pandesal. So, what we'll do is to give it 30 more minutes para mag-proof and mag-rise. Tapos, pwede na natin silang i-bake. So, after 12 to 15 minutes of baking, natapos na rin natin ang ating pandesal. I just can't wait kasi napakasarap nito sa loob with the cheese melting. Siyempre naman, kailangan natin ipakita kung ano yung nasa loob ng ating pandesal. So, this is our obligatory shot. Enjoy! And thank you for watching!